Hello and thanks very much for coming back again. Nice to see you. Um, today's video is going to be another one of our cutlery kits. We've already got cutlery sets, long handled teaspoons, oh, a whole variety of pizza cutters, cheese, knife set, lots and lots of things. Um, and we've now found a serving spoon. So we've got some more metal goodness here um, and we rather like these. They're quite a size. Um, if I hold my hand there that will give you an idea of the kind of size that they are. Um, they are stainless steel, they are mirror polished, they're really quite nice. Um, there we go, if I hold it that way you might be able to see slightly better. Um, you might even catch a glimpse of the camera, who knows, I'm not quite sure what that will appear like. I can't see the screen very well from here. Right, one of those, um, it also comes with um, a little ferrule, it is quite small, it's eight and a half mil. I'm not going to show you that in detail because I'm going to drop it. Um, and it also comes with one of our stainless steel end caps like so. Um, the idea being with these parts that this will be a turn between centres project. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to use the end cap if you don't want to, but it just makes it a lot easier. So the first thing I'm going to do, apart from having got some wood ready, which I'm not entirely sure what it is, I think it's sycamore, um, and I'll tell you about the size of that in a minute. The first thing I'm going to do is to measure um, the parts on here. Now I'm doing this not to tell you what the measurements are, but really to show you, because specifications do change, when I'm doing this video now, this might be six millimetres. In 18 months time, we might have a different model of this, and it might be five and a half millimetres or six and a half millimetres. My message basically is we can't do a video every time we have a slight specification change so get your kit and your calipers or whatever measuring tool it is you've got and measure it before you cut. Um, it is 3.8 millimetres so that means we're going to need a four millimetre hole to slot that into. It's quite a nice long tang on this one. If I hold it back up there you'll see um, how long the, the tang is. Quite nice and long um, and it needs to be a fair size handle because it's a fair size spoon. It's not a tablespoon, it's much much bigger than a tablespoon um, which is why we call it a serving spoon. The end cap, again I'm going to measure that. It, this one it should be um, uh, five millimeters it's 4.91 so five millimeter hole should be right so we're going I've oh, forgotten already what was this one uh, so four mil hole at one end five mil hole at the other mount it between centers and then we'll turn it right ugly mug off screen down to the uh, the business end of uh, what we're doing today I have my blank um, in here and I said I was going to tell you how long it is. I don't know how long it is. I'll get my measure it, hang on. Organised as always. Uh, it's about 125 mils long. How wide is it? Probably a bit too wide. 30, 30 mils. It's about the size of one of our handle blanks, but it's, it's quite big for um, the, uh, the serving spoon. It doesn't want to be too small, doesn't want to be too big. But uh, ultimately the size um, is as you require. I've got my blank. I'm going to do um, a centre finder, four mil drill for the spoon end. I'm going to turn it round. I'm going to drill five mil for the end cap end and then we'll turn between centres. So now what we have, bear with me while I go and get me bits. There's a hole for the spoon at that end and a hole for the end cap at that end. There we go, job's finished. Well not quite, we'll do the fun bit of turning now. 
I have my dead centre at this end, I have a life centre at this end and now we're just going to turn it to whatever size we want. As I said the ferrule on the um, spoon end is 8.5mm but you don't have to get right down to 8.5mm, you can just curve it down. I'm just going to do that now, just turn a basic um, handle shape um, and then we'll look at um, putting it all together. So I've got my kit with my ferrule, that goes on that end like so, and I've just dropped my end cap, that's quite stiff, I might have to put that in a vise and just tap that in, right and my end cap will go in that end there, so it makes it appear, let's focus the camera, uh, makes it appear that it's a metal shaft all the way through. I'm actually just going to go and hold that in um, a vise and just tap that on a little bit and then I'll bring it back and show you. Right, it's pretty quick this one. I've just literally popped that in the vise and tapped it on. Come on camera, play ball will you? Um, there we go, that's what I was saying about the ferrule. It doesn't, the handle doesn't have to be the same size as the ferrule, but the ferrule just covers um, the bits in there. So if I take that off, we can see. I, let's zoom out a bit. Wrong way. There we go. Right. So now we can see. It's a pretty quick um, job, to be honest, and that's quite a nice big serving spoon. Ideal for, I don't know, something like a lasagna. It's quite strong. Um, there we go, looks the business that. Um, right, quite a quick video this one because it's quite an easy project. There is the serving spoon with the um, handle. I've glued this end in here. You can obviously glue that end in there, but actually I didn't need to with this. It was really quite nice and tight. Um, so as I mentioned before, measure your kit, get all your measurements right. Uh, and this is a turn between centers. There we go. Jobs are good, as they say. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.